Good afternoon and welcome to my almost penultimate <laughs> daily Facebook Live, uh, episode 998. So two more to go. Um, and then things might change. We'll see what happens. I've not decided exactly yet. Anyway, today's episode is 998. Topic about today is about real self-love. Because, well, I'll explain because in a moment. But the title basically is real self-love requires some real work, but it's really worth it. Lots of reels in there because it's really real. <laughs> and uh, and I put the back end, get some, because I might get some attention. So the topic today basically breaks down to the understanding that if you want to have a healthy relationship with anybody, be it romantic or platonic or family or anything else, any love you need to, ex any love you want to get from them or to express with them starts inside of you. Now, you may be disagreeing with me thinking, no, 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 they'll love me, I'll be fine. It's like, well, the truth is, if you don't love yourself first, it's like someone trying to fill up a bathtub without putting the plug in. That's an interesting analogy, I know. But the thing is, it's like they may love, may love you and love you for as much as possible. But the same thing with a bathtub is, unless you put the plug in, it will eventually drain out. And that's how it's going to feel. It's an endless cycle of trying to fill up with love that you don't have. Because if you love yourself first, it's like you put the plug in the tank, you put the, the it is a plug. Plug in the bathtub, I think it's an American term. I'm using English terms, so I'm not sure if it translates to American terms. <laughs> bathtub, plug, plug hole, stopping water leaking out. That's what I meant. So <laughs> if you don't love yourself first, you want other people to love you. It's like the plug not being in, in, in the plug hole. Uh, what's the American term? Uh, this is the English terms. Anyway, I'm using what I'm going to use. It's constantly feeling like you're never going to be filled up. And it's always a fear that you're going to lose the love. Because the thing is, if you have a situation set up where you're not loving yourself first, there's always a constant fear that you may not get the love you really want because that person must keep loving you to make you feel okay. Otherwise, you feel upset or lonely or lost or unloved. Now, this is a whole breakdown about codependency too because codependency is based upon the premise that we don't love ourselves first. I'm saying we because a lot of us have codependency issues. I'm pretty good at mine now. I've resolved most of them. But there's always something in there because we're in the human experience. So to recognize that our true freedom from codependency and our true freedom to be loved fully starts with loving ourselves first and again the analogy I'm using is like filling up the bathtub without putting the plug in it always feels like the, plug, the, the water's going to drain out so hi and I see my broadcast so quickly re re recapping so you know hi Danielle um, if you don't love yourself first then anybody who loves you is going to feel like they're putting they're filling up the water in the bathtub without putting the plug in the hole so it keeps draining out. You keep putting love in, it keeps draining out. But love in, keeps draining out. That's the experience you have when you don't love yourself first. The way you love yourself, the way you, you stop that um, exit <laughs> or exodus of loving is you have to put the plug in the hole, which is actually when you love yourself first. So self-love is the key. It's the cornerstone. It's the reason why healthy relationships happen is because both partners love themselves first. If you've ever been in a dysfunctional relationship, it's usually because one or both partners don't love themselves first. 99% of the time, and I'm giving my own estimate of statistics. I'm not saying it's the right truth, but I know that for the majority of relationships, a lack of self-love is what usually destroys it. Now, if one partner loves themselves and the other person doesn't, there may be an ending of the relationship, but it won't be destroyed by the person loving themselves because they don't feel the need to. Being destructive often comes from the place of being empty and not feeling like you're loved, and not feeling like you love yourself more primarily. So self-love has a lot of um, impact in your life in lots of, lots of different areas. First of all, as I said at the beginning, to really feel love from somebody else, you need to love yourself first. Or I should say, you won't feel love from somebody else unless you love yourself first. Also, you'll discover you won't be so quick to react to things when you love yourself first. So if something happens in, with your relationship or family dynamics where someone gets really bent out of shape, upset, whatever that is, you'll, you'll be in a place where you can go, hmm, that's interesting. In a way, not, I mean, not literally, maybe you will. But when you love yourself first, you won't be driven to react or prove yourself right or make them wrong or any of those patterns that people fall into when they're not truly loving themselves. It's a deceptively simple thing to love yourself. Well, the idea is very simple. The execution to take some effort. As I said, real love requires real work, which is actually you practice that. But when you do love yourself first, when you love yourself fully, embracing who you are from a really heart-based place. I'm not speaking about ego here. I'm speaking about loving yourself from your heart. So many things in your life will change. Your life will transform. That's why it's so radical in the sense of doing it. Radical, I mean, it's fine. I was talking about radical forgiveness yesterday, day before. Yesterday. Now I'm talking about radical self-love. Maybe you should coin that phrase. <laughs> but 
But when you truly love yourself from the place of compassion, caring, respect, and appreciation, that sort of love for yourself, from yourself, that's why I use my self-love meditation, by the way, because it is a self-to-self. So in the mirror reflection of yourself, when you do love yourself first and you love yourself fully and you continue to love yourself, every and any relationship out there is additive to who you are. There's no gaps to fill. There's no desire. For, there's no need or lack going on. And it makes all relationships much easier because you won't be relying on them to do things for you that you must have them do to feel okay. That, that a battery of self-love when it's filled up eradicates so many upsets, issues, triggers, reactions, responses, judgments, etc, etc, etc because when you really do love yourself first all that stuff is a choice and for most people you don't choose that anymore the thing is it, it's, it's interesting, I've had I, I don't know, let me be transparent my self-love practice is sometimes hit and miss I'm not consistent with it all the time but I do notice the difference when I'm loving myself when I'm not I'm very clear how my driving habits are different <laughs> for one thing and also how my responses the good thing is with social media for me and actually with emails too is before I hit post or send or reply or any of those things I tend to take a moment to just breathe and remember who I am that is a connection back into my self love and sometimes it is as simple as breathing in that way because when you do really facilitate your own self love practice it becomes a touchstone that brings you back to your center and when you are centered in your self-love, then that reactivity, that desire to send barbed responses or to be upset with somebody and to really make them make, and punish them, make them feel wrong, doesn't happen. Because self-love eliminates that need to punish somebody, except out of a place of respect. Now that's an interesting thing, punish out of respect. When you are loving yourself, I'm gonna give you this piece, this, this is more of a, a global thing versus personal. Seeing somebody, um, what I want to say, when you self, when you when you really do love yourself and you honor yourself, then justice is a choice that you respect and you have the respect for the person who may have violated that justice. That's more what we're talking about. So you're not so you're not being vindictive so much, but you will hold somebody to their account. Self love does not is not a um, it's not wishy washy. Self love is not a place where you get to where you go, oh everything's fine, everybody can steamroll over you. No, none of that. In fact, when you love yourself fully, when you are in self-love, your self-respect increases to the point where people don't get a chance to do anything without your permission. It really is the facilitator, the core element. It's the, it's the keystone of everything that works in your life. Because self-love is that vital. When you love yourself fully, I'm, I'm passionate about this, I've said it so many times, and as I come to the end of my 1,000 Facebook Lives, because I am looking at changing things up after, the, after Wednesday, self-love is the anchor of my work. I was talking about this with friends yesterday, how in my coaching with my clients, in relationship coaching especially, I was always coming back to self-love first. Because for most people, their problems in relationship start with themselves. And so having them love themselves first, teaching that lesson, reminding them that lesson, to love themselves first, I'm, I'm saying it so many times because I'm adamant about this, the recognition is, is that everything else moves more smoothly when that is done. Because every time you go looking to fix something out there, when you're coming from a place of lack, where you're not loving yourself first, that's a place of neediness, and it's a place of, of um, feeling less than. It's a programmed belief that we have, because unfortunately our society teaches us this, that we're never going to be whole to meet somebody who makes us feel whole, which is bullshit, absolute bullshit, just to be clear. You are a perfectly whole, well-conscious um, being, and then the choice to love yourself is a bonus that then reminds you of that fact. So then you don't need to be fighting for a relationship to have some sort of... Um, what I'm looking for being completed by somebody else to, to misquote Jerry Maguire that phrase you complete me is the epitome of lack of self love reason why I say that is because when somebody loves themselves they know they're not incomplete yes you would say if you're saying um, instead of saying you complete me say you add to my life that's accurate because that's what really autonomy is when you love yourself first Partnership of equality, when both partners are 100% themselves, which is what we really are, and we own our self-love, is probably one, is one of the most magical ways to be in a relationship. Because there's no need anymore. There's desires, yes, that's a different conversation. There's no need to make the other person do things for you to feel okay. Now, if you remember your past relationships, or maybe a current one, or recent one, I know some past ones of my own where I look at the place I was stuck in need to have them do something for me because it didn't feel okay. 
I stopped that doing that a long time ago now. Well, because I've been single for quite a while too. Because I really wanted to work on myself. In my work as coach and as teacher, as reminder, as speaker, as Facebook Live presenter, my message to you is to love yourself first. It sounds simplistic, but it is one of the most elegant, simple, most potent things you can do to transform your life experience with everybody else around you. Every relationship, romantic, family, business, every relationship will transform when you love yourself first. Don't believe me? Try it out and see what happens for yourself. In fact, I, I would encourage you to buy myself a meditation. I'm going to put the link in the comments after I sign off. And when you practice that, it's a, it's a 30 day journey with AM and PM guided meditations I provide that will, uh, audio meditations that is. You'll practice it twice a day and at the end of 30 days, I can pretty much guarantee, I don't have my money back guarantee just to be clear, but I can pretty much guarantee your life will be changed. If not all your relationships, some of your relationships will change. Because some people are gonna be very attached out there to their position, so they may not change to you, but you will change to yourself because you won't be triggered. Again, back to what I said earlier, you'll be such a place of, of power and, and um, resonance with who you are if somebody's been out of shape about something that happened, you won't be reactive to that. You can choose to respond to it, as I said earlier, but your reaction is not needed anymore because you don't feel that engaged, that, that required to make something happen, to be stuck in right versus happy, or to be right versus loving. That's a comparison I took around some of my coaching works. Now, do you want to be right or do you want to be loving? For a lot of people, they want to be right versus loving. They wonder why they're not loving. Isn't that kind of obvious? So love yourself first. It's the real work, yes. My, self, my guided self-love meditation is a great place to start, but if you've got blocks inside because of emotional history, traumas, um, upsets from past relationships that aren't resolved by doing that, that's where my coaching comes in, or working with somebody like myself. If you want to find out more about my work, I invite you to message me, because my passion is this work, as you can tell. And again, I'll put a link in the comments for my guided self-love meditation, because it is a simple, elegant practice that will change your life and every relationship you have. That is that. That's that, is that simple. So, um, is there anything else? I think that might be it. I'm seeing any questions, come on, comments come in, except for the love, thank you for that, um, <clears throat> Danielle. It's something that I'm obviously adamant about this. Practicing self-love is a, is a tool that will change your life. It's one of the simplest things. And for most people, they're looking so much out there for solutions to fix their problems, when if they just simply love themselves, it would get so much easier. I think that makes my point. So, you understand my point now? <laughs> I trust you do. If you have any questions, comments, please put them below. And when I sign up, I'll respond. And if you want to get myself a meditation, that'll be in the links when I sign up as well. Um, if you have any questions you want about coaching, reach out to me, send me a message over social media. Or if you know how to reach me, other ways you can do that as well. Because some of you know how to reach me. Um, practicing self-love is the way. It is the way. Not to misquote the Mandalorian, in case you're wondering what I was saying that from. That's where my mind went, excuse me. So, um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live, at least till Wednesday. <laughs> it's like coming to the home stretch. Uh, I've been doing this now for three years. So if you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can join me live tomorrow and Wednesday after that, I'm not sure, on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. So you can join me live seven days, well, it's been seven days a week, at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page on Facebook. You can, if you wish, watch my replays. Those are gonna be archived and for they'll be there for eternity, we'll see. If you go to my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author, you can like my page there and you can watch probably two or three hundred of them because Facebook doesn't show all of them even though they're all stored on my business page. But I do have a backup plan. If you go to my YouTube channel, I have a backup of all my Facebook lives from number one up to now except for the three missing ones that I couldn't download because of Facebook's new uh, update. So if you go to uh, youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can subscribe to my channel, please. And there's a playlist called Messages from the Mask, and we have all my broadcasts from newest to oldest. And you can search through by titles, keywords, whatever speaks to you, and get the help you want. Again, message me if you want some more guidance, support, want to know about my work. Um, click the link in the comments, which I'll, I'll add when I sign off, to get myself a meditation. It will change your life, trust me. And uh, please join me tomorrow. It'll be episode 999. I'm not sure what we can talk about yet, but I'm sure it'll be interesting, because I'm going to want to give a couple of uh, gangbuster topics tomorrow on the last day, which is Wednesday because I'm going to switch up things on Wednesday, after Wednesday. So with that, thank you for watching. As always, please share this with anybody you think might want to see this. Um, let me know how it goes for you. I'd love to hear how self-love works for you. And uh, as always, as a reminder, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs>